Okay guys, so today we're going to be doing my first impressions of Magic Legends, which is an ARPG that just released on Epic Games Store, I believe. I'm not sure where else it's on. But this is a game I've been following for a while because originally it was advertised as an MMORPG. So I was really hyped for a, you know, magic um, universe for an MMO. And then it got revealed it was just an ARPG and I was like, oh, you know, that sucks. But still, I like ARPGs, so I'll check it out. I have played six hours of this, so bear in mind, not going to be the most in-depth review. I'll play the game some more, and then I'll do a, a proper deep dive on it. But this is just my, you know, how is it in the short term? Because a lot of the things that are wrong with this game are things you can notice right off the bat. And we do have to preface this by saying this game is technically an open beta, but I think that's kind of disingenuous to call it one, because it's the full launch of the game. They've paid streamers, they've rolled out marketing with the game, and there's no wipe. The cash shop's fully already integrated and everything. So I just call this a launch. Um, I'm not sure why exactly they're calling it an open beta. But the fact that they are, some people will use as a way to defend uh, some of the problems that the game has. And I think they're super indefensible. The first big thing is the optimization. Oh, I've, I've not seen a game this badly optimized from like a, a large studio on full launch in a long time um i didn't play cyberpunk so some people are saying oh you know it's as bad as cyberpunk was i've no idea but the optimization in this game is pure dog shit like i i don't know what to say about it it hardly runs on my computer and i'm running a 3080 rtx i've got a really good pc and it's just fucking bad like i'm way above the the technical requirements and the game the game doesn't look great so when you combine that it doesn't look great and it runs like shit, like, it just really confuses me, to be honest. It doesn't have, like, Diablo 3 or Path of Exile levels of enemies on the screen and the enemies don't do as much when they die compared to those games. And the, the FPS problems and the optimization doesn't appear to even be related to how many enemies are on the screen and what enemies are doing. It just seems to be all the time. You're just opening your UI, freezes your game for a second, um using different abilities just randomly freeze your game for a second if you play with shadows on which by the way there's no option to turn them off the game's just laggy as shit even worse and you have to put in a command in the chat which is slash shadows space zero and hit enter by the way that clears up some of the problems but it, it just doesn't the fact that this got to a release stage and they sat there and thought looked at this gameplay build and how laggy it is and went yep ship that just shows how tone deaf these developers are they just don't give a fuck and then when you get into the worst aspect of the game like aside from optimization the cash shop you know exactly what this game is it's literally a mobile game on pc i've never played anything on pc that has worse monetization on the surface level than this game does now, there's planeswalkers in the game. It's what you pick to play through the game. Like, I picked a blue guy, and the blue guy has certain spells on Q and W, and that's the planeswalker I'm playing. There's obviously one of each mono color, so green, white, blue, red, black. And then there's also the first one in the cash shop is Demir, which, if you don't know how magic works, two colors together equals a new name, and black and blue is Demir. So there's a Demir planeswalker, it's probably not super broken in balance because they only do have those two abilities different. But if you want to get him or her, I don't even know what character it is, to be honest. If you want to get it, you have to open loot boxes, um, also known as booster packs. And the booster packs have three items in them. One of them is just some like experience points or whatever, some, some points you can redeem. And the other two are items and you're not guaranteed a rare there's three rare types within the pack and then a mythic type which would be the um the planeswalker that you can get now the items that you get from the the loot boxes the, from the boosters are directly da tied to power in the game the game is mad fucking pay to win you can buy everything in the game and you can transfer your cash shop currency to in-game currency which basically means that you can just buy everything forever if you want to whale out and some people are going to come in defense of this and they're going to say, but it's a, it's a single player game. Essentially, it's an ARPG with three people in your game. Like you can queue in and randomly have three people in the game. What are you winning by buying things? There's no competitive aspect to it. How do you think they design the game to make you use the cash shop? They do so by making it inconvenient and unfun 
to not spend money and then you spend money create the problem sell the solution is what they're doing the gameplay aspects are so diminished for the cash shop to exist in this game that it just it's in your face so badly like i spent 40 pounds in the cash shop on stream because i wanted to show people um if you're going to review a game like this you might as well get into it and see like what you'll get for your money and i bought nothing but booster packs with it i got three rares no sorry i got two rares total my friend opened five boosters he got three rares total uh, some people opened one booster and got the the Demir planeswalker some people opened a hundred boosters which would be hundreds of dollars and they got no, they didn't get the the Demir thing but when you open them and you get the rares you get traits that uh, that boost your character's um, s attacks and stuff like that basically what your character does um, you get artifacts like mythic artifacts which are super broken make your character much much better um, you get spell pieces which you use to upgrade your your cards which is where a lot of your damage comes from you get equipment boxes which give you equipment up to mythic which is super super beneficial and make you much much stronger i literally from buying 40 pounds of of uh, booster packs over doubled my character's power in in two minutes and that's going to be the whole game and the way that the game works is there's difficulties that ramp up and it's mental returns it's something like 600 percent more difficulty for 25 percent more reward and people have been doing the math right now like running a mission only gets you like you know a couple hundred gold or something at least at my level like five and a half six hours into the game and to buy stuff from the cash shop for trading the currencies across from your in-game gold to their um like booster packs or whatever the Demir Planeswalker costs like 8 million gold. I've been playing for 6 hours and I've got like 20,000 gold. So it's ridiculous. Um, if you want to like ever have fun in the game in terms of like your abilities getting more powerful and you doing the things that make ARPGs fun, you know, the power fantasy, you're going to be playing the game like a fucking job. And, and on top of that, there's like mechanics in there to literally limit the amount of stuff you can earn from the game so you can only get like fifty thousand aether per day which is used for upgrading things and um, you can only do a certain amount of conversions of buying things from the from the marketplace with your normal currency for their cash up currency stuff or spell pages and things like that so basically the whole game is just holding you down and the only way to get back up is to pull out your credit card uh, it's really really bad at least on surface level it looks like everything power related is tied to the cash shop and again some people are going to say oh just don't buy it and play the game you're going to hit a wall in this game where you won't be able to do things anymore unless you've bought stuff in the cash shop i can guarantee it from playing six hours you can see the power creep of things getting more and more spongy and your power not catching up quick enough um in terms of gameplay because because we've talked on the cash shop for so long already i'm, I'm so sorry in terms of gameplay um but the cash up is really that fucking egregious so you do really have to talk about it a lot uh, gameplay wise it it's not the worst game i've ever played but they've fucked up the arpg mechanics in this game really bad loot feels terrible loot like when you're playing diablo or path of exile or whatever and something rare drops and you're like really excited because you see the fucking thing drop on the ground like in Diablo the the beam goes in the sky and you hear the noise and it shows up and you know what the item is and you on it's unidentified you identify it you know what the item is you're really hype about it right in this game stuff drops and you can't even see what the fuck it was you don't even know what you're looting it pops up in the corner of the screen you can't mouse over it it doesn't show you what it was um there's no name for it when it's on the ground it, the looting's just asshole um it, like the gears like off in some weird little menu as well there's no like button to open your inventory this game controls and feels ui wise like a fucking mobile game like nothing i've seen before um on a pca rpg it's it's crazy uh so if this game comes out on mobile don't be surprised it, it definitely feels like it's designed for it in terms of like the actual movement of your character and stuff the WASD controls on this play like somebody who's never played. It's like if the developer had never played a PC game before and then somebody explained to them what WASD should feel like and then they've developed it based on their interpretation of what somebody else said, secondhand knowledge-wise. It's bad. Click to move doesn't feel great either. Um, the controls on PC just generally don't feel good. In terms of like the why you'd play this game, 
there's things I really, really like about it. And then there's things that are just complete dog shit. Um, the way that spells pop up in your inventory, your one, two, three, four, when your spells pop up and you want to cast them, is just bad. Um, we knew it was going to be when they described the idea, but it's counterintuitive to ARPGs where you kind of just want to know what your character does. This is on cooldown until here. Uh, you know roughly when they come up, and if not, you can have a little glance at them. And you know what an ability is going to do when you press it. This game has abilities popping up where you don't know what the fuck it's going to be when it comes up. Uh, it, it just plays counterintuitively to like how you'd think an ARPG should play from muscle memory and, and learning how your class works and stuff. In terms of like the collection aspects, I love collecting cards. Um, even in this game where it's like super sparse and you're not getting them all the time and when you do, you know they're going to be pretty weak because you can't level them up because you've got a cash shop to do them. Uh, getting cards is cool like uh, the cards actual abilities and using the abilities actually feels fairly good on a lot of the cards summons specifically are really cool if they worked which they don't a lot of the time because the server lag is really really bad at the moment especially in europe it's pretty much fucking unplayable half the time which you know you expect for a, like i say you expect for a newly launched game but with all these things combined it, it's fucking bad um the game has redeemable qualities. The actual loop of playing the game and running around doing stuff, it's an ARPG. It's hard to really get that wrong. I feel like with ARPGs, the base of what could be fun and, and enjoyable is quite low. But the ceiling of how long is it going to be fun, in, you know, how fun is it going to be in the long term is really hard to do. Uh, it's something that Diablo 3 even struggled with for a very long time and even does now, even with multiple years of development. Uh, even though Blizzard pretty much ignore that game, but still. Uh, with Path, people play that for thousands of hours at this point. Do I think people are going to be playing thousands of hours of Magic Legends? Some people, probably whales. Uh, for most people, th the aspect of the cash shop is going to weigh them down. The fact that it controls and feels like a, a game that's kind of alien to, to PC is a problem. The map system in the game is, is so bad. Uh... You can spin your character around, like you can spin the camera around your character, and the game does it for you sometimes. So you just get lost and you don't know where you are on the map. And I find myself opening the map, which freezes your game for a second, to look at where I'm going, like three times every 20 seconds or something. It's pretty bad. Um, the map that you would have, like, usually on your screen, you can't, like, move it around or anything. So, and certain things don't show up on there. So you just kind of get lost sometimes. Overall, just. The game's not the worst game I've ever played. I expected the game to be bad. I didn't expect it to be like this, though. I could have fun playing it, and I probably will play it over the next couple of days, but you're going to hit a wall. Um, it's cash shopped out its mind. Optimization's fucking embarrassing. The fact that these developers, somebody sat there and looked at this and went, yep, that's ready for public release. You should be fucking embarrassed of yourselves, guys, honestly. It, it's pathetic. Um, so, yeah, other than that... It, it, it's not the worst game in the world. I've had, actually had fun playing it, but I just know it's absolutely fucked and there's no way that they make this game better. They can make the optimization better. They can add more content to the game. They can fix like the looting aspects and stuff, but this game's rotten from the core with that cash shop. Always will be. Um, and it's a cryptic game. It's perfect world. What the fuck do you expect? Uh, so yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame, but thank you very much for watching as always. Links are in the video description for my socials, Discord, Twitch, uh, Twitter, things like that. Uh, stay safe out there. We out. Peace.